Lesson 11. Blow up. I ate so much. I feel like I'm going to blow up. The bomb blew up, but no one was hurt. Don't put that can near the fire or it might blow up. How did the fire start? The old gas heater blew up. Bring back. The song brought back some old memories. He brought back the video that he had borrowed from me. The picture brought back memories of her childhood. Can I borrow your car? Sure, but bring it back before 5 o'clock, please. Burn down. If you play with matches, you could burn down the house. The school burned down in 1910. Help! The church is burning down! What happened to all the trees? They burned down in the forest fire last year. Catch fire. The log caught fire immediately. The wood was wet, so it didn't catch fire very easily. His clothes caught fire because he stood too close to the stove. Let's move the candles away from the window. You're right. The curtains might catch fire. Come to. How did things come to this? When you come to the end of this part of the test, stop. If you come to a word you don't know, use a dictionary. Excuse me, how can I get to Tom's Market? Go straight. When you come to the intersection, turn right. For the most part. For the most part, I really enjoyed my trip. For the most part, I enjoyed the time I spent in the country. For the most part, she was satisfied with her performance. How is your new job? It's very interesting for the most part. Make one's way. They made their way across the country. He made his way to the front of the line. They made their way from California to Texas along Route 66. I can't get a good look at the band. Let's make our way to the front. No matter. No matter how much I comb my hair, it always looks messy. I can't get an A in the class no matter how well I do on the final exam. You don't have any money? No matter. You can pay me next time. No matter what I try, I can't start my computer. Is it plugged in? Sort of. Oh, the juice tastes sort of strange. This restaurant is sort of expensive. Do you want to go somewhere else? I'm sort of tired. Can I meet you some other time? Have you ever had shark? Yes, it tastes sort of like chicken. Tear down. They want to tear down the old apartments to build new ones. I heard they are going to tear down the old stadium. The workers had to tear down everything and start again. I'm glad they tore down the wall. Me too. The view is much better. Dialogue on the street. Wow, that was a huge fire last night. It's hard to believe that there used to be a four-story office building right there. The whole thing burned down to the ground. Does anyone know how it caught fire? I heard someone say something about an electrical fire. Maybe it was bad wiring. It's sort of scary to think that could happen in our building as well. 
For the most part, I feel pretty safe in our building. It's much newer than the building that burned down. I guess they're going to tear down the burned parts of the building that are still standing and build a new office building there. I'm sure they will. Probably if we come to this spot in a few months, we won't even recognize the place. Idioms in context. Last summer, I visited my hometown. I had not been there for ten years. I kept in touch with my parents while I was away, but no matter how much they tried to tell me about the changes in our town, I was still surprised at what I saw. As I made my way through the streets around my parents' house, many of the places I saw brought back memories of my childhood. First, I saw my elementary school playground. Then I saw my best friend's old house. Some of my favorite places were gone. For example, the old movie theater had burned down years ago. It caught fire when the heater in the basement blew up. The old store where I used to buy candy was torn down. Now a four-story office building stands in its place. As I came to the corner by the old bank, I ran into Mr. Collins. My parents were friends with the Collins when I was young. I went up to Mr. Collins and said hello. He looked sort of confused. I told him, "I'm John and Helen's daughter." Mr. Collins said, "Oh, you're Helen's daughter. Such a beautiful lady." Then Mr. Collins called his wife over. "Lucy, come here. It's Helen's daughter. You remember Helen? Such a beautiful lady." Mrs. Collins came over. She looked at me and said. Oh yes, Helen was so pretty. Then she said, "For the most part, you take after your father." Lesson twelve. Be free to. At my school, students are free to use computers after class. She was free to choose any dish on the menu. You are free to leave as soon as you finish the test. Where would you like me to sit? You're free to sit where you like. Become of. Don't give up your dreams. Just look at what became of Mickey. Do you know what became of that singer? I haven't heard about him for ages. Many people wonder what's become of our sense of decency. What will become of that old car? I think they will sell it to a museum. Die of. We are all going to die of something. I almost died of embarrassment when my swimming suit came off. The trees died of poison in the soil from the nearby factory. My parrot died of old age. I'm sorry to hear that. Furnish A with B. The hotel furnished us with free drinks all week. The school furnished the students with new desks. The speaker furnished everyone at the presentation with a copy of his latest book. How's your job going? Great. My company furnished me with a new laptop computer. Keep track of. She's always busy keeping track of her children. The teacher had a hard time keeping track of all the children. Let's keep track of how much we spend on food during our vacation. How many hamburgers did you eat? I couldn't keep track of them all. No way. He's on the weightlifting team. No way. You are forty years old? No way. You look so young. You met Elizabeth Taylor? No way. Did you hear that aliens have landed in L.A.? No way. On the other hand, he likes eating cookies. On the other hand, he usually gets a rash from them. 
New York is very romantic. On the other hand, it is very cold in the winter. Restaurants have a nice atmosphere. On the other hand, eating out is expensive. The new house is smaller than the old one. But on the other hand, it is in a better neighborhood. Stand to reason. It stands to reason that if you study hard, you will do well in school. It stood to reason that the criminal should be punished. It stands to reason that if you eat too much, you will gain weight. It's starting to rain. It stands to reason that we should close the window. Turn up. This turned up in the mail today. My wallet turned up in the lost and found office. Please call me if my car keys turn up. Did you find your missing dog? Yeah, he turned up last night. What if? What if no one comes to our party? What if you won the lottery? What if I get sick? What if I get sick? Who will take care of me? Call your mother. She just lives across town. Dialogue in the yard. Do you know what became of the old man who lived on the corner, Sam? I saw that his house was up for sale. I heard he died of a sudden heart attack a few weeks ago. No way! He seems so healthy. I can't believe it either. The police should look into his death. Some interesting things about that family might turn up. What are you talking about? That old man was a millionaire. What if one of his children wanted that money? On the other hand, maybe his family just has a history of bad hearts. You've been reading too many detective novels, Sam. You never know, Max. Things like that don't only happen in novels. <music> Idioms in context. Mark had a pet parrot named Billy. He liked to let Billy out of his cage so that he was free to walk around the house. Mark did not bother to keep track of Billy when he was out because the bird never got into trouble. One day, Mark let Billy out of his cage as usual. Suddenly, Billy flew out the window. At first, Mark didn't worry. Billy will turn up when he gets hungry. Mark thought. On the other hand, what if Billy gets caught? And eaten by a dog or cat, or what if it gets too cold outside? What if he can't find any food? He might die of hunger. Mark did his best to find Billy over the next two days, but he had no luck. He began to think that his parrot was gone for good. Mark knew something terrible must have become of Billy because he didn't come home. Then a phone call took Mark by surprise. The person on the phone asked. Is this Mark? I think I have your parrot. No way! Really? Mark exclaimed in surprise. Then he asked, "How did you know my phone number?" The caller said, "Your parrot furnished me with the number. It keeps saying 'Hello, you have called two four three seven eight five five. This is Mark. Please leave a message.' So it stands to reason that this is your bird." Then Mark remembered that Billy's cage. Was next to the answering machine. Lesson thirteen. At first glance, at first glance, he looks similar to his brother. But now I can see the difference. The problem looked easy at first glance. At first glance, she seemed to be very young. What do you think of my drawing? At first glance, it looks like a monkey in a suit. Attend to, she attended to her guests. She had to attend to the guests in the other room. The staff attended to our every need at the resort. 
I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that I have to leave. No problem. I have some things to attend to as well. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. The dog ran back and forth across the yard. The tennis players hit the ball back and forth for almost five minutes. So you work in New York, but you live in Vermont? Yes, I drive back and forth every weekend. Be no use, ing. It's no use getting upset over an ex-girlfriend. It's no use getting upset over a broken glass. I tried to cheer her up, but it was no use talking to her. It's no use trying to fix that old TV again. You're right. Let's buy a new one. Clear cut. It looks like we have a clear cut winner. That is the most clear cut explanation of the theory I have ever heard. There did not seem to be any clear cut solution to the problem. If you don't like your job, just quit. It's not so clear cut. My boss is also my father in law. Drive one crazy. He's beginning to drive me crazy. Those mosquitoes are driving me crazy. He was trying to drive her crazy on purpose. That noise is driving me crazy. Sorry, I'll practice my violin somewhere else. Fed up with. I'm fed up with your behavior. She was fed up with living in such a small apartment. Aren't you fed up with having to work so much overtime? I am fed up with eating ham every day. Okay, tomorrow we'll have bacon. Play a part in. Regular exercise plays a part in staying healthy. The bad weather played a part in our decision to cancel the picnic. Education plays an important part in success. How did you put out the fire so quickly? Volunteer firefighters played a part in stopping the fire. Take into account. He didn't take into account the possibility that the bus might be late. She didn't take into account the fact that the bank was closed on Saturdays. Did you take into account the possibility that some people don't like seafood? I made reservations at the Milton Hotel for dinner. Did you take into account that we only have twenty dollars? Turn into. They say when I drink, I turn into a monster. The conversation turned into an argument. The frog turned into a handsome prince. Your puppy really eats a lot. Yes, he's going to turn into a big dog someday. Dialogue at home. Honey, I'm home. How was your day, dear? Terrible. I had to attend to a problem at our branch office all the way across town. Was traffic a problem or something? No, the situation at the branch office is the problem. There doesn't seem to be a clear-cut solution at the moment, so I will have to keep going over there. Then you won't be working in the head office for a while. Oh, I still have my work there too. So now I have to drive back and forth between the offices. This job is driving me crazy. Well, you've been complaining about this job for a while. If you are so fed up with it, why don't you try to find a new one? You're right. This job plays a part in making my life too stressful. I'm going to quit.
idioms in context. Sometimes at my job, I have to attend to work in the back of the store, like unpacking boxes or checking inventory. When someone comes in the store and they don't see anyone at first glance, they think the store is closed. Just to make it clear that I am in the store and ready to help, I put a bell on the counter. I also put a sign next to the bell that says, Please ring the bell if you need help. I thought the bell was a clear-cut solution to my problem, and it worked great at first. I could always hear it even if I had on headphones and was listening to music. For the first week, I never missed a customer. Unfortunately, however, my great idea didn't last long. I didn't take into account the fact that some people might enjoy ringing the bell for fun. The bell started driving me crazy after a while. Children played a big part in this problem. They would come into the store, ring the bell, and run outside again. I had to keep running back and forth from the back of the store to the front. One day, a little boy took the bell and ran around the store ringing it over and over again. I knew it was no use getting angry with the boy. He was just a child. However, I was really fed up with the bell. I threw it in a box and hid it under the counter. However, I forgot to take down the sign when I got rid of the bell. This turned into the real solution to my problem. Now when someone comes into the store, I know that they need help when I hear them yell, Hey, where is the bell? Lesson 14. Be bound to. My parents are bound to disagree, but I've decided I'm moving to New York. My parents are bound to disagree with my decision to join the circus. The table was bound to break from all the weight put on it. What do you think Dad will say about the broken window? He's bound to be angry. Day in and day out. Day in and day out, clouds hung over the village. Day in and day out, our next-door neighbors argued. The rain fell day in and day out, flooding the small town. Why does Tim look so tired? He's been studying day in and day out for the big test. For sale. They put their house up for sale. The car I saw for sale yesterday has already been sold. You can find good fruits and vegetables for sale on the street during the summer. Why is your new boat for sale? My wife gets seasick. Give birth to. She is about to give birth to her baby. She gave birth to twins last week. How many puppies does a dog usually give birth to at one time? I want to have my baby in a hospital. I would rather give birth in my own home. Give in. He gave in to his parents' demands and cut his hair short. He kept asking until I finally gave in and invited him to join us. The protesters said they would not give in until all of their demands were met. That big guy keeps telling me to do his homework. Don't give in. Hand out. The store was handing out free cosmetics samples. Our teacher will hand out the final grades for the class on Friday. The store was handing out free samples of cake to the customers. Hey, where did you get that donut? They are handing out free food at the store. In one's way. I can't see anything. This big guy is in my way. The box was in my way, so I had to move it. She could not see the moon because the trees were in her way. Excuse me, your chair is in my way. Sorry. Make a difference. 
The doctor said that these pills will make a big difference. The new paint makes a big difference. Your house looks great now. It won't make much difference if we take the other road. I don't like black and white movies. Me neither. I think the color makes a difference. Tell A from B. I can't tell the real fruit from the plastic one. It was impossible to tell the real painting from the fake one. When they are wearing the same clothes, I can't tell one twin from the other. Did you know that Sally is colorblind? Yeah, she can't tell green from blue. Upside down. The sign was upside down. Somebody hung the picture upside down. The plane flew upside down for a few seconds. What are you going to do with those roses? I'm going to hang them upside down to dry. Dialogue at the store. There are some socks for sale over there. Let's go look at them. They are bound to be more expensive here than at Quick Mart. The sign says they are only a dollar per pair. How much are they at Quick Mart? Ninety cents per pair. Ten cents does not really make a difference to me. I'll just buy them here. This must be a good sale. There are so many people in the way that you can hardly get to the socks. Let's go to the other side. There are fewer people over there. Wow, these are designer socks, but they are so cheap. They're not real designer socks. They're fake ones. How can you tell the real ones from the fake ones? Look at the designer symbol. It should go this way, but they put it on upside down. Idioms in context. Our neighbor's cat gave birth to kittens. Of course, as soon as my son saw the kittens for sale sign in our neighbor's yard, he wanted to go take a look at them. My husband and I knew that if our son saw the kittens, he was bound to want one for a pet. So we tried to avoid seeing them. Day in and day out, our son kept asking when we could go see the kittens. I kept telling my son he couldn't have a cat, but it didn't make a difference. He wanted to see them anyway. Finally, we gave in, and we all went to see them. There were several other people at my neighbor's house looking at the kittens. Our neighbor was standing next to the box, handing out kittens left and right for people to look at. There were plenty of kittens to go around. My husband and son went to see the kittens. But I wanted nothing to do with them. I stayed near the door and tried not to be in anyone's way. After looking at the kittens, my son ran over to me. "Come and see, ma'am," he said. "There are three boy kittens and two girl kittens." I asked my son, "How can you tell the boys from the girls?" My son said, "Dad told me. He turns them upside down and looks under them. I think it's written on the bottom." Lesson fifteen. As soon as, I'll be there as soon as I can. As soon as you delete a worthless file, you'll need it. As soon as the sun rises in the morning, the farmer starts working. Are you coming to lunch? I'll be there as soon as I finish this. Attribute A to B. Most people attribute the good economy to the new president. Scientists attribute the warm weather to pollution. Many of the deaths in the earthquake were attributed to poor construction. Why are your shoes in my yard? I attribute that to your dog. Be apt to. He is apt to be late for class because he has a night job. 
Without a map, you are apt to get lost on the small, confusing streets. He is apt to fail the test because he didn't study. Let's go shopping. It's a holiday. Stores are apt to be closed. Cut down on. After that night, he decided to cut down on alcohol. We cut down on driving because the price of gasoline is too high. She cut down on eating snacks between meals. Why don't you want some cake? My dentist told me to cut down on sugar. End up. The ice cream ended up on the floor. They ended up working on the project all night because of the deadline. The extra food at the party ended up in the garbage. Let's climb over the fence and touch the tiger. No thanks. I don't want to end up as lunch. Get over. Buddy, get over it. It took her almost a week to get over her jet lag from the long flight. She got over her old boyfriend very quickly and started dating a new boy. How did you get over your cold so fast? I ate 30 oranges a day for three days. Get used to. It will take a long time to get used to her. After I got used to waking up early, I enjoyed my extra time in the morning. How long did it take you to get used to living in your new apartment? It's almost midnight. Aren't you tired? No, I'm used to going to bed late. In comparison with The weather in the south is usually wetter in comparison with the north. In comparison with their first book, the author's second book was not very good. This rock is heavy in comparison with its size. Your house is so small. Yes, but in comparison with my old house, it's a palace. In no time. The police arrived in no time. If you make a few American friends, you can improve your English in no time. In no time, the firefighters arrived at the fire. Are we almost there? I am so hungry. Don't worry. We'll be there in no time. Used to. She used to have straight hair. My family used to eat dinner together, but now we are too busy. The excuse for missing homework used to be, the dog ate it. Now it's, the disc was erased. What is your favorite sport? I used to like squash, but now I like racquetball. Dialogue at school. How do you like our new teacher, Tom? I don't like her. She doesn't teach very well in comparison with Miss Smith. Why do you say that? Miss Smith used to take her time and explain the lessons with lots of interesting examples. But our new teacher goes too fast. Maybe you just need some time to get used to our new teacher's style of teaching. I'll probably end up failing this class. I can't even do the homework for Monday. I can help you. I'm sure I can explain the homework to you in no time. It probably won't even take an hour. That would be great, Mary. Can we meet on Saturday? I'm going to see a movie with a friend Saturday afternoon, but I can call you as soon as I get back from the movie. Thanks. See you on Saturday, Mary. Idioms and Context Research has found that as soon as a man and a woman get married, they start putting on weight. Men usually gain about four pounds. Women gain about five. Researchers attribute the weight gain to changes in the exercise habits of newly married couples. 
A newly married man who used to spend several hours each week exercising is apt to stop exercising in order to spend more time with his new wife. After the couple gets used to their new life together, they may begin to exercise again. However, usually the couple ends up exercising for a shorter time together in comparison with the time they exercised separately before marriage. One way a husband and wife can get over this problem is to begin to exercise together soon after the wedding. The food a couple eats can also help the couple control their weight. In general, most people need to cut down the foods which are high in fat. Couples who are used to eating a lot of beef, fried food, and desserts should try to eat more vegetables, chicken, and fish. Couples who start putting on weight after marriage can get back to their old healthy weight in no time with the proper diet and exercise.